Hi everybody, I'm Laura Grimaldi, tax professional, enrolled agent for 15 years now, been doing taxes for probably close to 20. And I'm here to give you your weekly tax tip. And since we're in the beginning of the year, I think um, it would be good to start thinking about 2017 because every year around this time when I'm doing my clients' taxes, if you are self-employed, you need to track your mileage. And when I ask them, how many miles have you have you driven? You need your total miles. You need the total business miles you've driven. I get this. Um, they look at the ceiling like the numbers are in the ceiling. And then I hear, just use what you did last year. Just change the numbers a little bit. Okay, so if you are self-employed, mileage is one of the best deductions and easiest deductions to keep track of. And back in the old days, I would go, just put a book in your car, just write down the mileage. Every time you go somewhere, if you go and get office supplies, if you go, I mean, for you actors, every time you go to an audition, every time you go on the set, if you're getting a 1099, I know a lot of you get W-2s, but you can still, if you're driving to from your house to the store to get supplies, you can take that mileage. If you're driving, I mean, because your home is your office, so if you're driving from home to an audition, you can take that mileage. That is all mileage that you can even take on a Schedule A, and if you have enough, you can actually itemize. So track your miles. And now you don't even have to put a book in the car because with all these smartphones, there are so many apps that will track your mileage. And a lot of them will give you kind of free, they'll give you a trial run um, and then you have to pay for them. It looks like they're ranging about 60 bucks a year. Um, I've heard about QuickBooks Self-Employed, which is a pretty good one. Uh, I've been using one called Mile IQ, and it's, I mean, all of these apps are pretty amazing. I know the one that I've used, I have not personally used QuickBooks Self-Employed. I do know some clients that have, and they're happy with it. That one does run $60 a year, and I think if you go and look it up, Google it, I think they'll give you like half off for the first six months. Um, the one I'm using, Mile IQ, gives you the first 40 drives for free, and you just you actually just register and you um, put your information in the phone and then it will literally the minute you get in your car and drive it will know that you're in the car it will track your miles and then it will come up and go okay is this business or personal so you swipe it right for business or swipe it left for personal and then at the end of the month you can actually have it download to like a CSV or a CVS, CVS CSV or um, Excel spreadsheet and it'll download it and email you a spreadsheet of your monthly activity. So this is a great way to track your miles and you won't even have to think about it. I mean, you could go two months and go, it'll go, you have all of these miles that you need to let me know whether they're business or personal. That'll be the only thing. I mean, you, you have to let them know if it's business or personal and you have to remember where did I go. But please download this app. If you are self-employed, if you have a company, if you are an LLC, even if you're an S Corp, you really, I know S Corps will take auto expenses. You still need to track your miles because if you're ever audited, they want to know what percentage of the car that you're using, especially if you're a single person S Corp. So please track your miles, track your shit because it will help you and you'll have it already done. I have had three clients this year with a Schedule C. Schedule C's are like hot hot items to be audited and I've had three so far call me because they've been they've been paper audited and that's the first thing that they have to do is actually recreate a mileage log because they they have the miles on their tax return but they don't have a log so track it now and then you don't even have to worry about it stick it with your stuff and then you then there's no worries because when you get that audit then it's like oh geez then they're freaking out and it's not good. So, and that's, I mean, that's the e easiest deduction. So, you know, just, just track it, track it. So Mile IQ, 
is the one that I'm using and I'm actually very, very happy with it. And I have this little flyer that will give you, I don't know if you can see the promo code, but if you type in that promo code, you will get 20% off. So, and, and if you sign up for that one, you get 40 drives free. It's, um, I, and, and it's 40 drives per month. So if you don't drive that much, you can just use it for free. So just try it out and um, see if you like it. But literally, you can have it on and you don't even have to worry about it. You get in the car and it actually like, tracks your miles. And it's kind of interesting to kind of look and see, oh, I drove this far. How much did I spend in gas? How much did it cost me? Because it actually gives you the dollar amount of how much you spent when you drove to that place. I almost want my daughter to track it because she's like, I'll just drive here and you can pay for the gas. So I want her to kind of realize when she's driving how much she's spending of my money. Anyway, that's a whole other topic. So if you have any questions and if you need help, I'm here. Um, you can message me here on Facebook or you can email me at Grimaldi Solutions, all one word and with an S at gmail.com. And that's your tax tip of the day. Happy Wednesday.